Australian F1 driver uh, Daniel Ricardo said, you know, it took him a while to, to get comfortable with the idea of crypto, and that was before the collapse of, of FTX. Um, uh, Australian F1 driver uh, Daniel Ricardo and his Olympic snowboarder mate Scotty James say they always think long and hard about the risks of promoting the wrong thing. And as brand ambassadors for crypto exchange OKX, that no doubt was at the forefront of their minds when FTX collapsed and markets crashed near months after they're signed on. Uh, the risk then became all too apparent uh, and the eight years of negative publicity and lawsuits over comedian Larry David and NFL quarterback uh, Tom Brady's endorsement deals with FTX. Uh, um, even Hollywood nice guy Matt Damon faced blowback from everyone from South Park uh, to Stephen Colbert uh, as a result of his Super Bowl commercial for Crypto.com uh, encouraging uh, normies to buy in crypto right before the market crash. Uh, uh, crypto already had a pretty mixed reputation when Ricardo signed up in May 2022 and he admits it took a while to get comfortable with the idea and uh, but you kind of also learn when to say no that's not right for me he told Cointelegraph at Token 2049 um, nursing a fracture hand that has taken him out uh, of Sunday's Singapore Grand Prix. Ricardo is one of the most popular F1 drivers in the world and has a team that ensures he doesn't get in the hot water. Miners struck out direct questions about FTX ahead of the chat, required approval for photos of the interview, and bustled him away after 10 minutes for his next appearance. OKX's strategy to become the first crypto lifestyle brand was driven by Chief Marketing Officer Hader Rafiq. The crypto exchange signed multi-million dollar sponsorship deals with sports franchises like F1 Team McLaren and United Kingdom Premier League Team Manchester United. The streets of Manchester have officially been futurized by OKX and Pass, and at Man City fans explore Manchester and check them out Arndale and 60 Shoe Drill Better. Feature game on kids. You certainly get those calls, Rafiq said, from McLaren or Man City. Hey, is everything all right over there? Like the industry looks a little shaky, and we have uh, considered to understand and put ourselves in their shoes and respond accordingly. He says the exchange's monthly proof of reserves reports are a big factor in gaining trust. But even after getting his old team on board, Ricardo now drives for Alfatari Rafici still needed to gain the F1 driver's trust. It wasn't a transactional relationship, it was a personal relationship, he said. Uh, Ricardo explained it worked as uh, uh, Rafik did uh, a really good job to bring us in on a personal level uh, to educate us and inform us. And unfortunately, as Damon's ill-fated Crypto.com deal shows, due diligence can only take you so far. The exchange wasn't accused of anything and didn't collapse. The Damon's reputation took a hit as markets crashed. And the thing that was probably blow back for them was the message and it was poorly timed fortune favors the brave and then the brave crashed said Rafiq as a mate of Ricardo's four-time Olympian Scott James already had a personal connection when he signed on with OKX and was already interested in NFTs but it still would have been a shock when FTX collapsed a month later Until you understand something 100% at its full capacity, naturally, you're going to have reservations, he said, but added that the platform's attempts to simplify and educate about crypto and trading put him at ease. I build trust over time with doing that, and we feel pretty good about it, he said. But to say 12 months ago, I would say the same thing. No. Uh, Jane said that snowboarding was... Uh, uh, a lifestyle choice uh, that uh, appeals to uh, a young demographic in crypto is to um, uh, do to uh, young to do its decentralization. While the pair joked about releasing NFTs during their on-stage appearance at Token 24-9, that's not going to happen until markets recover, said Rafiq. Uh, for their NFTs, it's certainly not going to be about a speculative asset. It's going to be baked into how we can bring their fans closer to them through this asset that they can own. So I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon.